Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we are going to be multiplying decimals. I got a few tricks to show you, and we're going to make it easy cheesy for you to do. All right, stay tuned. Hey, welcome back to the show. Today in the show, we are multiplying decimals, numbers with decimals in it. And when you multiply, just remember, it's just like multiplying a whole number. And then we're going to do the decimal work at the end. Okay. So right away, let's just start by multiplying these numbers. Ignore the decimal point right there. Okay. So let's just start right here. One times two. You got it. Two. All right. You guys are math ninjas. <laughs> All right. One times eight. Eight. Don't be late. 1 times 5, you got it. You guys are pros on this, okay? 4 times 2, yeah, you guys, you know it. 8, 4 times 8, 32, all right? Put the 2 right there, carry the 3 up there. We're going to add that 3 in a little bit. 4 times 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, yeah. 20 plus 3, 21, 22, 23. Oh, you guys, you got it. 23. And just like doing all the other math problems, it's important to line up everything to be neat with your writing and your numbers. Okay. Now we have to add our numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and add these numbers up. So let's go ahead and drop that two down. Drop it down. Drop it down right here. All right. Eight plus eight, 16. Carry the one up here. Let's go ahead and add the hundreds right here. Five plus two, five, six, seven, plus that other one, eight. Don't be late. Three, drop it down. There's nothing to add right there. Just drop it down. Drop it down, yeah. Drop it down. Next number, two, drop it down. Drop the two down right here, yeah. Okay, now we're ready to do a little decimal work. The trick is, is you count the numbers on this side of the decimal point, okay? On the right side of it. So we're gonna count all the numbers on the right side of all the decimal points. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and count it. So I have a one number, two, three, four. You see how I did that? I got one, two, three, four. Now keep that four in your mind right here. And now we're gonna, count four going this way. So I'm going to start over here and I'm going to count four going this way. All right. So I got one, two, three, four. That's where I dropped the decimal point in right there. Okay. Right here. So I'm going to erase these li lines right here so it doesn't get too confusing. So what I just did kind of back up, I counted the numbers on the right side of the decimal point on this side of the decimal point one two three four I add them all up it could be like 5,000 numbers all right probably won't be that big but it, it could be a number of, of, of spaces behind the decimal point you just count those up and then you start counting this way all right it's kind of like a little game so I just go one two three four boom right there put that decimal point in right there all right that's the answer two point Three, eight, six, two. All right. Hey, let's go do another one. All right. Okay. Here we have another number that we need to multiply. It has decimals in it. Well, wait, this number does not have any decimal points in there. Does it? That's a whole number. That is 18. This one is 6.45. Don't worry. All right. Take it baby steps, little by little, easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. Don't worry about that decimal point until the very end, all right? Just multiply this like you would whole numbers. So let's go ahead and start doing our multiplication, all right? Remember, knowing our multiplication facts makes this so much more easier. So let's go ahead and start. Eight times five, 40, yeah. Put the four up here. Eight times four, 32. 33, 34, 35, 36. Put the six right here, uh-huh. Put the three up here. Eight times six, 48. 48, 49, 50, 51. All right. So I put 51 right there. Okay. Now I do the ones. 
Now I could, you know, go one times five is five and put the five here, one times four is four and put the four here, one times six is six, put the six there, or I just know that 645 times one is gonna be 645, okay? So you just put the five here, four here, six here. But always double check, you know, sometimes we take these little shortcuts, but always double check your answer. All right, looks good, five, four, six, okay. Let's go ahead and add. Add these numbers. Now, if you want to, you can always put something here, put a zero there. Some people do, some people don't. That's up to you. It's just kind of a little space filler. That's up to you to do. I'm just gonna drop that zero down. Yeah, drop it down. Six plus five, 11. Yeah, 11 sent from heaven. Put that one up here. Four plus one is five, plus another one, six. Six plus five, Another 11, all right, getting lucky today. Now we do our decimal counting. Remember, we count the numbers on that side of the decimal point, all right, on the right side. So I have one, two, there's no decimal point on 18, is there? No, you don't count anything, all right? You don't count anything. It's just one, two, all right? So I start from here and I count two this way, one, Two, put the decimal point in right here, okay? This is totally different from addition and subtraction with decimal points where you lined up everything. This is just adding the numbers on the right side of the decimal point, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and erase this part here. Did I do it right? I got two spaces here, got two spaces there. Yeah, perfect. Let's go ahead and do another one, yeah. Oh, okay, here we have 1.273 times 0.06, all right? So once again, don't get worried about where the decimal point is. We do that later on. We multiply this like we would a whole number, all right? Remember, take it easy, cheesy, lemon, squeezy, step by step. Six times three, uh-huh, uh-huh, 18. Yeah, put the eight here. Carry that one over here on top. Six times seven, 42. 42 plus one, four to three. Put the three here, four up here. Six times two, 12. Plus that four, all right, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, yeah. Put the six here, put the one up here. Six times one, six. Plus the other one, seven. Yeah, you guys are doing a good job. 0 times 3, everything times 0, every, anything times 0 is 0. 4 times 0 is 0, 6 times 0 is 0, 24 times 0 is 0, zillion by zillion by billion by trillion by lillion times 0 is 0, it's 0. Don't even put the zeros in here, all right? Let's go to the next step, and that is when we count the numbers behind the decimal point, all right? Make it fun, all right? It's kind of like a game. So I got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Remember, if we had a bunch of numbers here, you gotta count all those numbers behind the decimal point. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So we start right here and move that way. Remember five, we have one, two, three, four. What's going on here? There, I, I need to go another space here. I need to go one, two, three, four, five. What do you do? You put a zero in this spot right here. If there's nothing right here, you gotta put a zero here because you know you're putting the decimal point right there. So you need to put a zero. If that decimal point goes over here and there's a bunch of blanks, you gotta fill it in with zeros. So I'm putting a zero right there, okay? So once again, did I do this right? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, decimal point, okay? Now, I got a cool trick to show you here in a little bit, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, okay, here's a problem, kind of looks silly, but I have xx point xxx times xxx point xx. I need to figure out where to put the decimal point in my answer. Remember, we just count the numbers behind the decimal point. So we go one, two, three, four, five. And then I start counting this way, all right? One, 
two, three, four, five, and I put the decimal point in right there. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show today. I hope this helped out a lot. Remember, when you are multiplying numbers with decimal points, the first thing is just ignore the decimal point, multiply them like you would any whole number. And then at the end, you count the numbers behind the decimal points. And with that number, you're able to find out where you're going to be putting in your decimal point. Okay? Also, down in the comments down below, I would love to hear a comment from you and any type of math problem you might need some help on. Also, please subscribe. Find that subscribe button somewhere on there. And like always, have a fun day. Adios. Bye-bye.